What comes to mind when you hear the word forest? Most Southern California residents envision forests as dense stands of pine trees like those in Big Bear, or picture the majestic redwoods and sequoias of Northern California. They may even think of the vast tropical rainforests of South America. Everyone's first mental picture of a forest varies based on their own unique life experiences, but it's doubtful that many picture a city when hearing this word. Well, you may want to think again. A city is a forest, an urban forest, and the city of Irvine is proud of this designation. Just like the typical wild forest you may have imagined, the urban forest is an ecosystem. This vast network of trees throughout the city provides clean air, shade, shelter, habitat space, stormwater filtration, soil stabilization, and carbon sequestration. Not to mention, Irvine's urban forest is the main buffer the city has to combat the heat island effect brought on by miles and miles of pavement and the reflective surfaces that are essential to our infrastructure. Beyond the ecological benefits, the urban forest also has a monetary effect. Research has proven that healthy, mature trees boost property values by an average of 10%, and the energy savings they provide to the urban environment makes them even more valuable. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, one healthy tree has the net cooling effect of 20 average room-sized air conditioners running 20 hours a day. The benefits of the urban forest are diverse, and this incredible resource takes careful management to ensure these benefits are maximized for all Irvine's residents, humans and animals alike. The city of Irvine is home to more than half a million trees. That's equivalent to more than two trees for every resident. And the city's total urban forest is estimated to be valued at over $180 million. Most of the Irvine urban forest is made up of privately owned trees found in commercial centers, HOA parks, green belts, and residential gardens. While just over 15% or about 80,000 trees are owned and maintained by the city. These trees are spread throughout Irvine's 66 square miles, and they populate our streets, parks, trails, and open spaces. To properly tend to a forest as large as Irvine's, a number of highly trained personnel are needed. The city of Irvine has a dedicated team of municipal foresters who oversee daily maintenance operations and special projects year-round to promote a robust, healthy, urban forest that is safe and enhances the quality of life in Irvine. All of Irvine's municipal foresters are arborists, certified by the International Society of Arboriculture. They also hold special qualifications for evaluating tree risk and testing tree health. These evaluations occur on a daily basis. Like us, trees are living and breathing beings, and their health and well-being are affected by their environment. Unlike us, however, they can't move, and changes in the environment, such as construction, pests, severe weather events, and other factors sometimes have adverse effects on their viability. Changing environmental factors may cause a tree's health to decline, or it may elevate a tree's risk for causing injury or severe property damage. When this happens, mitigation is necessary and can include anything from tree monitoring to pruning, modifying the site, or even tree replacement. Here in Irvine, we have many rows of old blue gum eucalyptus trees. These colossal trees are reminders of the city's agricultural past, with some dating back to the turn of the 20th century. Due to these trees' size, age, susceptibility to internal decay, and even tree failure, we have implemented a special program to perform advanced risk assessments on these historic trees. The city is using the latest technology to assess the structural stability of the blue gum eucalyptus. The trees are evaluated using a highly specialized instrument known as a sonic tomograph, which uses sound waves to map the internal wood defects that would otherwise not be detectable by visual inspection alone. Based on experience and data collected from sonic tomography, foresters know that the blue gums can appear completely healthy even when they are severely decayed internally. For example, take a look at this 80-foot eucalyptus located near a home and a walking path. The tree's foliage appears vibrant, and recent new growth indicates the tree is growing fairly vigorously. However, when a sonic tomograph is used to look inside the tree, it's apparent there is significant structural degradation due to a cavity of brown rot. 
Results of these assessments are carefully analyzed and the city's municipal foresters are advised on specific measures required to mitigate any hazardous conditions. Trees that are free of significant internal wood decay and other major defects are scheduled for future reassessments, and trees that have correctable defects are pruned accordingly. Trees that show significant levels of internal rot or other major defects are scheduled for prompt removal and replacement. While municipal foresters take no pleasure in removing large, old-growth trees, public health and safety is always our top priority. The canopy or shade loss from removing such large trees impacts the landscape, and it is vital replacement trees are planted to compensate. Irvine's program is designed so that all trees that require removal are replaced as quickly as possible. All trees are replaced at a one-to-one -one ratio, and in some cases, even additional trees are planted. This strategy is key to our success, as it allows us to sustain and grow our urban forest rather than regress due to changing conditions. Gross total tree planting is just one of the metrics the Arbor Day Foundation uses to gauge Irvine's success in urban forestry. For the last 30 years, Irvine has achieved the Tree City USA designation from the Foundation. Achieving this award year after year helps us and all residents of Irvine rest assured that the urban forest is thriving today and will continue to do so for many generations to come.